Being a guru is not as easy as it seems, and if I was a guru myself, I would be pissed at how I'm being perceived. See, most people assume that it's as easy as renting Lambos, luxury apartments, selling something bullshit, but I think anybody could see through that. The real battle for a guru is the psychological battles he has to go through in order to gain an audience. Remember when Joe Biden tried to speak and use his words to convince us he wasn't going to drop out of the presidential race? I think everybody saw through that. But when you think of someone like Barack Obama, and yes, we know what you did in the Middle East, Barack Obama, we still see him in a high regard because of his charismatic words and his way with his tongue. So the first step we're gonna be working on is called public appearance. Now, most people would think that you would need to build up a account with a bunch of Lambos and rich, expensive luxury, but remember, we want to remain as authentic as possible. So instead of going all flashy, we wanna create a humble story with flashiness littered into it. You could make some simple posts talking about easy, small success, and then build your way up. Now remember, most gurus like to go all flashy at once, and it's easy to see through. But if you start with a humble story, then you could probably make it really easy for yourself. Once you have a good base and social media established, you need to become really good at what I would call marketing. You have to make flashy content, but also provide a service. I like to call this the free method because it's very well used in the marketplace. First, you would probably want to also create a YouTube, but you offer something free to your fans. Maybe a free course on the copywriting or day trading, and you sprinkle the most basic stuff that you could find all over the internet into it. Basic strategies or stuff that you've already seen before. But when the viewer perceives the person as someone who gives out free content, then they are more likely to welcome that person in. So if you have a free course established, then you are already on a good pace. But I would establish the free course before you have anything paid put out yet. See, when you're a guru, you have to actually rise to the fame. It doesn't come to you instantly. So there is a hustle aspect when it comes to being a guru. You actually have to grind your way to the top on the social media. So I'm not gonna be going over a lot of that stuff, but this is just like the basic idea of it. Have a humble background and then also provide free stuff. So we're actually gonna leave this part of the video colored because this is my favorite section. It's called the manipulation section. Every guru has his own set of manipulation tactics. So I'm just gonna go over a few that they might use. This isn't going to be all of them, but I've seen these be more persistent. Number one tactic a guru most likely likes to use is the tactic called finding the common ground with the viewer. What the creator will do is pretend that they are on the same level as the viewer, finding relatable things such as the struggle, low amount of capital, struggling to find a perfect strategy, struggling to make money, you need to pay your bills. These are all the things that they will say in their start of their social media posts. Then they would offer your solution to them and that's how they sell their courses. When the viewer establishes that they might have a connection with this person, they seem more reasonable and that what they have is not so far-fetched and they went through the same thing as you, it makes them feel more attached to the guru and gives them a sense of honesty and trust. Well, actually, the, 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 the next part I'd like to go over is actually the section, uh, the part two of the manipulation, I'd like to call it. It is actually the uh, relatable content. So if you see him and you come off as a joke type of guy, uh, the, the, the viewer will find it more appealing. If you make jokes and, you know, pretend to be gay, I'm pretty sure that will help a lot. But all jokes aside, if you are actually seen as relatable, this kind of ties into part number one of this section. See, the, the daily consumer or um, TikToker's Instagram reeler always scrolls and looks for the next best video. If you could somehow tie in what you're doing with what they're watching, there's a high likelihood they might. Uh, see, you as more funny and those little things and emotions always matter so in the thick of it basically if you make relatable content and you stoop to the or not stew to you come to the common ground with the viewer you have a higher likelihood of attracting that viewer as even a follower because every follower is a potential course buyer so what I would actually do for step number three or not step but tactic number three is probably motivation 
A lot of day traders like to use themselves as motivators, so to say. They will like to pretend that they are motivating you and they will um, make inspirational videos using their own stuff. This is good because the viewer will see that and they will be more hooked because they think they can make it out using your technique. Now, not everybody sees through this, but some people do. So be careful and make sure to delete all the comments. Again, this is not a tutorial. And that's really it for that one. And number four, I think this one is very, very important. Fuck, what was four? What was four? What was four? What was four? I um, mean... What the fuck was four? What the fuck was four? I, I forgot what four was. It was number one was to, to find common ground, make relatable content, make motivation, Oh, and now number four, this is a really important one. The person or the guru will often try to make them seem against what they're doing themselves. They're going to seem as the chosen ones, right? They're the ones that are different from everyone else. So when a day trading guru or a copyright guru, they say that they're different than everyone else, you always have to believe them because they are 100% lying. <laughs> that didn't make sense. The person watching will assume that the guru is against that and they wouldn't do that themselves. So when you seem as a person that you are against what you are doing and you claim to be against it, but you're sneakily doing it and you find a way to kind of make it seem as if you're not by offering the free stuff, remember, then it just becomes 10 times easier.